Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea if you're new here and if you're new, I hope you subscribe. In today's video, I'm gonna help you to start reading. I've been reading quite a lot actually, I think for the past, I don't know, I started reading quite like a long time ago and I've been thinking about making this video for a long time. What better way to start reading than during summer? I feel like during summer, we all have time right i mean you have time to watch netflix you have time to go out you have time to go to the beach you have time to go to the park and all those places you just take your book with you <laughs> so if you want to start reading this summer and you need some reading motivation this video is for you i was thinking maybe of going to the bookstore first and then i'm gonna give you a book haul and i'm gonna be talking about some of the books that you can read it has a lot to do with the type of books that you start reading because if you don't if you don't like the first book then you just might not read again unless you really want to start reading but in today's video we're going to the bookstore i want to get a very summer specific book i was thinking maybe the summer turn pretty or the beach read or book lovers there's a big list there's a great list of amazing summer books and i'm gonna leave it down below and i'm also gonna leave a link down below of the books I will be talking about later on in this video but right now we're going to the bookstore and pick a book or two for the summer vibes and then later on I'm gonna be showing you other options for you to start your reading journey anyways let's go to the bookstore okay I know this has nothing to do with the books but look at my outfit I think I'm gonna get only two books because I don't want to get a lot of books and then end up not reading them so I'm gonna commit to buying those two books and the minute I finish them I'll come back for more um, I wanted to get the book lovers too but I think I'm leaning more into this too I've been wanting to get this one for a while and I think it's nice the fact that both of those have movies so that after I read them I'm gonna watch the movie um, that's that and I think I'm gonna pay now and go to Starbucks for obvious reasons <laughs> not so obvious but I'm hungry 
and yeah. And talk. Okay, as you know, and I vlogged, I got two books and they were 22 euros. Yep, they were 22 euros. And I had discounts such as no, that books are expensive. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. Reading is expensive unless you find a really good thrifting place i do have a thrifting place here close to my house but since i live in portugal they don't have a lot of english books so if you're into reading just look in your local thrifting bookstore and try to find books that you like because it might be a little bit more affordable to get books but you have to read them, okay? We're talking about buying books, but you have to read them too. <laughs> but anyways, I got two books and I'm gonna be talking about each of them, but keep in mind that I haven't read them already, so I'm just gonna be talking about them. Anyways, I, I got The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. Han? Han? The reason why I got this book is because there's summer written in it, but it's definitely because this summer I really want to embody this quote. I want this summer to be this summer of my life, you know, so far because the next summers are gonna be way better. <laughs> but the summer I turned pretty, I've heard so much about this book. Mind you, that I just started romances. Actually, I like to read self-help books personal development like informative books but now during summer i don't really feel like being in my self-development era i just want to i just want something to entertain me and i know there are two different people when it comes to readers there are people that read for entertainment and there are readers that read for educational purposes it, for me it has a lot to do with the time of the year <laughs> or like the era i'm in and right now i just want to definitely step into that main character living my life like a book living my life like a movie so right now i'm just really into like novels and romances and summer and i study again living life like a movie you know so i got this book the summer i turned pretty i got it for 11 euros and i got normal people let me tell you this books i'm gonna be talking to about are the mo one of the most popular books that you will hear about they're basically everyone's favorites it's very important for you to start reading books that motivate you to read more when people on tiktok are all talking about colin hoover read colin hoover because it's gonna motivate you to read more don't think that you cannot read books that everyone is talking about because they're so popular there's a reason why they're so popular there's a reason why everyone is reading about it ends with us which i was gonna talk later but there's a reason why they're so popular anyways i also got normal people by sally rooney and this one was on sale and i got 20 percent off um so these are the two books that i got for 22 euros and there are other books that i had in mind when i was going to the bookstore i'm gonna list down below all the summer vibes books that you can get 
of course I wouldn't get like 10 books because it wouldn't be un it wouldn't be realistic of me and say like oh I'm gonna spend the summer reading because that's not the point the point is to read during summer not to spend the summer reading moving on I'm not gonna be talking much about this books because I haven't read them but if you guys are interested comment down below and I'll definitely do like a book review or another video just like this one and i'll give you a review of this books and they i think i'll be done with this books in like a month i'll be done with this books in like a month or two the reason why i actually decided to record this video is because i actually wanted to help people that really want to get into reading and by helping people i mean giving you the best and my favorite books of all time and the books that I will tell you the minute I finished reading this books I cried I cried I cried <laughs> and I got inspired to live life in a different way or I got motivated to get a new book or to read more or to just be a better version of myself and of course books aren't just about the entertaining side you always have something to learn in books either it is about toxic relationships because the main character of the book is in love with the guy that beats her or something like that oh that's that's a book that's the book that's the next book i'm gonna be talking about yes allow the books to entertain you but also allow the books to teach you something about life about yourself about the world because it's not just about entertainment it's not just about words it's about what you get from it so i chose six books of my of my favorite books to review to recommend to you guys and that i know if you start reading with these books i can guarantee you that you will become obsessed with reading and if you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's maybe just not your thing, you know? Okay, I am gonna divide the books into different sections because like I told you, I am very much into self-development and I think that it's very important for me to always learn something from the book. That's probably why I like self-help books a little bit more than I like romances and stuff like that. But I will divide them into different sections the first one will be entertainment and the second one would be education or self-development or personal development or whatever you want to call it i'm gonna start with entertainment um okay let's start with <sighs> okay this book everyone was talking about this book all over tiktok last year and i was very disappointed but i couldn't i couldn't stop reading it this book it's about evelyn hugo it's a hollywood it's a hollywood movie star that would do anything that she had to do to be successful she married seven men so basically she chose this writer to write her biography and in by in her biography she was basically talking about all her marriages and the the book is basically her telling the journey of her becoming this successful person and 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 really talking about every single marriage and why she she got married and why she got divorced and the ending there's a plot twist to why she chose this writer if you're very much into like celebrities hollywood lifestyle this is the book it's a very entertaining book you're gonna flip the pages and you're gonna be addicted to this book i definitely recommend the second one is variety of course we had to recommend colin hoover books this book oh this book is my favorite of like the Colin Hoover bookshelf. This is my favorite. It's basically about, we have Verity, which is 
a rider that had an accident. And then we have Lowen, that is the ghost rider. So basically the husband of Verity decided that because of the medical conditions of Verity, he needed to look for a ghost rider to continue the series Verity started. So basically Lowen, she moved to their house so that she could like study the materials Verity had. But then Lowen falls in love with Verity's husband, but Verity isn't really in coma. Uh, I cannot like, this is that type of book that I won't be able to explain without giving you spoilers. So trust me on this one and read this one. I promise you, you're gonna love it. And when you're done, call me call me when you're done let me know text me on instagram or something or comment on this video i don't know but look, when you're done let's talk about this it's mind-blowing there's a plot twist get this book read this book this book is literally gonna entertain your summer and when you're gonna when you're done you're gonna be confused as fuck my baby my baby i think this is everyone's baby at this point everyone on tiktok was talking about this book if you haven't read this book what are you doing no 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 no. you're here to start reading so you're gonna start with everyone's favorite just like i said there's a reason why everyone reads the same books because they're good you know okay so basically this book it's about lily she moved to a new city she wanted to start her business she wanted to be a florist so she opened a flower shop but then she falls in love with this guy and they have this amazing beautiful perfect romance but then he is a toxic man just like her father just like her father just like her father and what did she do? She stayed in a toxic relationship just like her mother. <gasps> I really don't understand why people stay in toxic relationships. I luckily never stayed in one. I mean, I had one, <laughs> but I got out of it. I got out of that one. And this is not to justify that you know you should if if you love him more than anything you should definitely no but it really made me see the perspective of the woman experiencing the abuse when i tell you this book i cried at the end it's because the story was well written the storyline was well put together the ending i did not see it coming and it was my first Colin Hoover book. So it's definitely my favorite. It's It got my heart because I literally remember crying to this book. And now I'm actually becoming a little bit more emotional because just thinking about the story and what it means for women in general. This book, it's more than just entertainment, if I have to be completely honest with you. This book is a book where you're gonna go through a roller coaster and you're gonna learn, you're gonna cry, you're gonna relate, you're gonna not understand what the hell she's doing. Definitely get this book and thank me later. <laughs> it's It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover. We're done with the entertainment category and we're moving on to self-development, self-help, personal growth, personal self-improvement, all of that, whatever you want to call it. I think it's very important for you to focus on bettering yourself, getting into your highest power, and really improving the areas of your life that maybe you don't pay as much attention to. I am going to be talking about the books that really helped me become the best version of myself and these are the books that I swear by. I love these books and I am going to 
talk about them like my babies because they really are my babies everything that you're going through everything that life is throwing your way let me tell you one thing someone went through that and wrote a book about that all you have to do is pick up that book and read and learn and take notes and apply that into your life and that's why i love self-help books so much <sighs> So let's start. This book is a classic. I think this is one of the most impactful books that I've ever read in my entire life. And even though I haven't read that many books, this, and I'm not that old. <laughs> I mean, my entire life I'm talking about 22 years old. But this book, it really teaches you about life. It really makes you think of life like this, this journey, this process of, of being and becoming. And I think it really made me realize that the journey is the destination. I say this, I say this quote quite a lot. This book, you can get so many perspectives. You can think about this book as the boy who wants to be rich. You can look at this book this book has a lesson in life to enjoy the journey and what i really took away from this book is that you need to embrace the process because that's what's going to get you to your destination get this book it's really small it's literally the size of my hand you can literally finish this book in one day and it might change your life this is the book you buy to be the best version of yourself to regain your confidence to learn to love yourself to really step into your power this was one of the first self-help books that i read i think it was 21 2021 in february of 2021 i got this book and it was my first ever self-help book when i really started my self-help journey self-help journey and it really if you're really in a bad place or if you're tired of who you are and you're ready to be who you want to be this is the book for you if you really want to reflect on everything but let me tell you one thing when it comes to self-help books you can't just read them like a novel you have to take your time to reflect on everything that you're reading how it applies into your life the things you're learning don't rush self-help books learn to educate yourself learn to reflect on the areas of your life you need to work on and definitely get this book that book that you really learn that you have the power to change your reality you have the power to change your life all you have to do is switch your mindset switch your the way you look at yourself, the way you look at others, the importance you give to yourself and what you're willing to do to achieve your goals. Get this book. You're a badass. Um, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. I swear by this book. Get this book. Let me tell you, I wish I read this book way earlier in my life but i also understand that i wouldn't understand most of the things they're saying here because i think you really need to be in a point of your life where you're really ready to step into your power to really change your life to really become a successful person to actually apply the things you learn in this book into your life this book really helped me with discipline atomic habits by james clear the journey of becoming is more of a process of just being and can we talk about how powerful that quote is if you want to become a runner one day you gotta get up every single day and run that's how you become a runner if i want to be a full-time youtuber i have to start behaving like one the whole point of becoming is being you know you just become if you're constantly being that thing so i think the atomic habits is a very impactful book if you're really in the position to look at your life 
and actually make the commitment to change the not so healthy habits that you have and creating good ones and really and really become the best version of yourself this is a book that you read when you're ready to change your life and just like that we are done i am gonna link every single book I spoke about in this video down below. I'm also gonna link um, other books that you can get for a summer vibe. And just remember the point is to start reading. Don't be hard on yourself. If you're starting out, one chapter is better than no chapter. One page is better than no page. So just take your time, just like I did in this video, get yourself pretty go to a bookstore look for a book that really matches the vibe you're going for this summer get one book or two just like i did today don't get like five books because they're just gonna sit in your bookshelf and you're not gonna read unless you're a very dedicated person and really disciplined you can do that <laughs> don't focus on finishing the book in two days don't fo don't focus on reading as fast as a person that's been reading for two years and just enjoy the ride i hope this summer you become a reader and i hope this video helped you in some way motivated you in some way to start reading or maybe if you were in a reading slump i hope this video inspired you or got you excited to go back to your books and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know if you'd like me to make this type of content or if you like me to in a month time re review these two books that i will be reading this summer so again if you like this type of content don't forget to like comment and subscribe I love you.